you thought we were done today, weren't you? No, we're not. Um, so after the Orange Bowl tonight, and after New Year's Eve, New Year's Day tomorrow, you know, a couple bowl games on Saturday and Monday, you know, that's it, bowl season. Let's not talk about bowl season. Let's talk about the national championship. I've been meaning to say this all year long, but 150 years, 150 mythical national champions. Isn't that funny? <laughs> but this year, it seems like, you know, the storylines and everything like that has been crazy. It's been a crazy year. Now there are only two undefeated teams left. In the mix of things, the college football playoff national championship, January 13th. That's a Monday. I don't really like it all that much, but it's a Monday. But, you know, it is what it is. It will be the LSU Tigers, 14-0. and Taking on the Clemson Tigers, 14-0. and one team will be 15-0 and at the end of things, hoisting up the golden trophy, the national championship trophy, at the very end of things. And it's going to be one hell of a game. Don't think that this will be like LSU's game against Oklahoma. Um, it will be a lot closer than people think. Now, LSU cruised to an easy victory over Oklahoma in their semifinal game in the um, Peach Bowl. And Clemson fought hard. They were down for a good chunk of that game against Ohio State, but they ended up winning the game, and they ended up coming back here to the national championship for, what, the fourth or fifth time in the last five years, you know, that they've been in the playoff, and it's great. Crazy, man. You know, to see that Clemson is back in the national championship looking to get another title under their belts. And it's going to be fun, fun game. Joe Burrow versus Trevor Lawrence. Joe Burrow has a talented, talented wide receiver core to throw to. And most of those guys, I guarantee, have a 1,000 yards. Chase, you know, the, the, you know, Chase and those guys, they probably have a thousand yards. But, you know, Clyde Ed Edward C. Lair, you know, he's a good running back, let me tell you. Travis, on the other side, Travis CTN, what, what a good runner. T. Higgins, good wide receiver, you know, for um, the Tigers. Defenses, LSU's defense is a little suspect. Not too much, though. They've really just hammered down the last few weeks. Texas A&M, Georgia, Oklahoma for most of the game. The defense has stepped up when it needs to. And Clemson's defense has also stepped up when it needs to. It doesn't allow touchdowns in the red zone, as evidenced by Ohio State kicking three field goals in the semifinal in the first half when it should have been 28 nothing or something like that early on in that game. Instead, it was 16 to nothing, and Ohio State blew the lead, of course. Um, but, you know, Dabo Swinney and his guys at Clemson, they're going to go up against Ed Ogeron and his guys at LSU, and it's going to be one hell of a game, let me tell you. I am so excited for this national championship. Um it may be 150 years of mythical national champions, but, hey, we we are looking at a definitive champion this year um, as far as, you know, who in the world is going to be the last team remaining, the one that will stand up above the rest with an undefeated record. So I want you all to just... Watch this game. Don't think it's going to be, you know, this LSU beat down or a Clemson beat down. It's going to be a close game. And if it's not, well, then shoot, my bad. <laughs> it, it could go both ways if it goes, if it turns into a blowout, you know. 
But yeah, two great offenses, two great defenses. You know, you know, Clemson has the number one defense, LSU number one offense, but both these teams have some good offenses. Both these teams have some good defenses, and it's going to be a fun game to watch. I'm ready, but are you ready? We'll find out who the national champion is on January the 13th. And there will be a recap right after that game. So, y'all, y'all, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Because I am. Let's go.